Hi, beloved in the Lord. My name is Emily. This is Heavenly Host Vision Ways. Today, I'm so glad to welcome you to yet another prophetic word. May the Almighty God bless you and keep you safe, sound, and protected. They attacked your mind, they attacked your heart, they attacked your emotions so that you will go contrary to God's will for your life. God had placed you somewhere. God has given something to you. God had confirmed something to you, which, which is good and acceptable unto you. But the enemy saw that where you are headed towards, what you've gone, what you've received in you, or what you're about to receive is good and acceptable unto God. He went about and trying to create a false thinking in your head. In your mind a false perception so that you may discard or reject what God has got that is beautiful to you some of you have recently been attacked in your mind and what you initially accepted saw to be good you began to feel as though it is inadequate you began to feel as though that is not of God you began to see so the enemy tried to paint the errors of some things or of somebody to you. The enemy tried to show you the things that he wanted you to see when it came to someone that you really had to interest in. The enemy showed you what they needed you to see when it came to a situation that, that you actually enjoyed or you actually appreciated. Why is that all of a sudden what you were what you loved, what you appreciated, what you actually went after? to be something that you don't you no longer desire that was an attack that the enemy launched on your mind in order for you to give up on what is good and acceptable unto the lord that was an attack from the enemies to derail you from your focus that was an attack from the enemies to to lose what god has already you know given to you that you knew that it was great God showed you a situation and you saw that the situation was good. God showed you a, a kingdom spouse and you saw that they were good. God showed you a business and you saw that it was good. God showed you a career and you saw that it was good. God showed you some certain things in your life. God confirmed some things in your life and you saw that those things were good. And then all of a sudden, the enemy brought his own images and began to paint those things that you had previously saw that they were good to mean negativity. Some people actually fell, beloved, into they fell into, into the traps of the enemies by looking at some situations in an opposite manner. And they rejected some people, they rejected some things, they rejected some circumstances, beautiful circumstances that were coming to their lives, beloved. The enemy is so so cunning. You have to be so wise. They distracted some of you. And you lost a lot. They distracted you by saying that this is not good. I mean, how is it that what you had previously appreciated and then suddenly turned to be negative? That was the attack of the enemies. To lose exactly what God had confirmed to you that it is of him. Be wise, beloved. Be wise. Be wise. God is not an author of confusion. He will not reveal some things to you to be positive. He is not going to give you positive situations or situations of people and then all of a sudden turn around to condemn them. The condemnation came from the enemies. So you get to miss that opportunity. The condemnation came from the enemies. So you get to reject what was what is good and acceptable unto the Lord. Even right now, as I'm talking to you, some of you are planning to give up on something that you had, you had initially loved, that you had initially appreciated, that you initially had confirmation that it's of God. Be careful, beloved, so you don't get to miss it. The enemy is just moving about, looking for someone to devour. The enemy comes for nothing but to kill, steal, and destroy. But Christ came that you may have life. Christ has given you life. But the enemy came to destroy some things in your life. To steal some things in your life. To kill your vision. 
Please be that transformed this season. God has to tell someone to be transformed in their minds this season so they don't get to miss the will, the perfect will of God for their lives. Glory be to God. The enemy had seen that, oh, you are heading towards a glorious life. The enemy has seen that you're, you're about to establish something really nice. What God had already given to you. What God had already shown to you. And then they came with their own minds, their own mindset, with their own ideas. I began to show you the things that they felt that you didn't see while God was considering. Jesus, be careful. Be careful. God, want, God is warning us this moment. According to Romans 12, verse, verse 2, that do not conform to the patterns of this world, but be transformed by renewal of your mind. Then you will be able to test and approve what God's will is. His good and pleasing and perfect will. Please, if you have, if you have negative thinking or mindset about somebody or about something, that God had previously confirmed to you that is good. It's high time for you to quickly switch. Switch, beloved. Change that mindset. Resist the devil and it shall flee from you. Resist the devil and try to instill negativity in your heart regarding somebody or regarding something that the Lord had previously shown to you that they are good and acceptable to him. The enemy has been struggling so hard for you to lose your kingdom spouse that he had that God had given to you. The enemy has been trying so hard to have you lose that business, that focus, that career that God had previously given, that God had given to you and had confirmed them to you. Please be careful this season. Resist that negative thinking this moment. Resist the darkness this moment. Resist what the enemy is trying to paint of, about someone to you. How is it that you have confirmed your kingdom spouse and this is, you are very much sure that this is the one. You are very much sure this is your career, this is your business. And all of a sudden, the enemy brought negative mindset about this person or about whatever that you've got going. Be vigilant, beloved. The enemy, has, the enemy is, is very, is so furious because they don't have much time. They want to make sure they destroy some things in your life. But it's not going to be possible. It's not going to prevail in the name of Jesus. If you're listening to me this moment, the Lord is saying that, listen, soft times wouldn't last. Then that negative mindset wouldn't last. God has already confirmed to you. No matter what comes to try to derail you, to, 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 you know, to paint someone black towards you, to, you know, to condemn some things in your life, please stay strong. Stay strong. Stay, stay strong. The condemnation of the spirit right now is so real, beloved, because the enemy doesn't want you to see the truth of, of God. The enemy doesn't want to see the truth in what God has been trying to reveal to you. Your person is good. Your business is good. Your career is good. Look at those things in a negative light. So you don't get to miss it. Some of you have given up on some things. And before you realize it, before you come at your senses, they are, they've already gone. Don't fall into that, into that trap again this season. You've learned your lessons, beloved. Imagine, imagine a lot of great people came into your life. But because enemy brought you know, their own view about that person. Most people, some of you, you fell into that trap by condemning someone nice. And they went. And the enemy sat, sat back and then laughed. The enemy is, is looking at you and trying and, 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 and imagining and, and working things in order for you to lose certain things out for them. So, 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 so they get to say, uh-huh, their eyes have seen. But that's not going to be your portion this season. Their eyes shall not see anything. In Jesus' mercy, you shall resist that, that wicked thinking you shall resist that negative thinking about somebody or some people or some situations in your life beloved stay strong stay strong stay strong in the name of jesus please stay strong right now stay strong right now resist that devil resist that devil resist the devil and he shall flee from you resist the devil and he shall flee from you you were called to live a glorious life but the enemy saw that you're going to be happy. And that's why they brought that negative thing about someone to destroy your relationship. The enemy saw that your business is going to, your enemy saw that your business is going to flourish. And that's why they brought the confusion. So you get to miss the point. But you are wise. You've been here before. And now again, they are beginning to do, to do their work. But 
No to the devil. Say no to the devil. Get it behind me. You devil. You don't have any place here anymore. You are going and prevailing. You are prevailing. You are going. God's word is final. What God had previously shown you about something is a, is a fight is, is final. Whatever the enemy is trying to bring right now to paint. You're going to reject that this moment. You're going to reject that this moment. In the name of Jesus Christ. The enemy showed you someone that they are so bad. So that, that, that they are so they are false or they are wicked. Or beloved, that's what the enemy wanted you to see. So you get to, 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 to let them go. And then sit back to regret. That's not going to be a portion this season. What God has given to you, you shall keep it. You shall keep it. Whatever God has brought, brought into your life, you shall keep them. Whatever God has shown you that is of positivity, you shall maintain that focus and looking them in and, and looking at them in the light of God. Hallelujah. God bless you so much. In Jesus' mighty name, what is yours shall not be destroyed by the enemy. What is yours shall not be taken away by the enemy. You shall lose nothing because the enemy tried to paint a negative picture of that thing that God had previously confirmed to you. You are, you are blessed. You are blessed. Keep it. Keep it. Keep it, beloved. The enemy shall fight and get tired and they shall flee. Resist the devil and they shall flee from you in Jesus' mighty name. Faith is our vehicle and love is our strength. See you in the next video.